as I share my best places in the entire world to retire early cheap in 2023, I'll show you videos I took while my feet were on the ground in each of them. But full written reports of each place are available at VagabondBuddha.com. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. So after living outside the USA in hundreds of towns in 67 countries over the last 16 plus years, here are my top 15 favorite places to retire early for cheap in 2023. The ranking is for year-round early cheap retirement. Year-round means you have to think about the weather in the off-season since you will be there year-round. Cheap means it must be possible for a cheap single person to live there on 1500 or less per month. In fact, there are places on this list where some people are able to live on 800 a month. I will rank locations purely based on my gut reaction from when I was there. My method only works if you have spent considerable time in each place. I've had my feet on the ground in all of these places. In my opinion, being on the ground is the only possible way to rank locations. Collecting data from 10,000 miles away doesn't provide any gut reaction about quality of life. If three people are ranking 15 places and they've only personally been to five or 10 each, how valuable is their opinion about a place they've been versus the place they haven't been? Okay, I'll cover my top 15 places in reverse order, so you'll have to wait until the end to hear my top three. Okay, here we go. Best places in the entire world to retire early for cheap in 2023. Arequipa, Peru, retire cheap report, coming in at 15th. Arequipa is a gorgeous colonial era city in the Andes in the southern part of Peru. Walk along the cobblestone streets and you'll find an endless array of both foreign and domestic foods. The Central Park is a gorgeous place to spend an evening as the sun goes down as the city lights the cathedral built in 1566. I could easily uh, live in Caraquipa and the cost of living is reasonable. It's also a beautiful college town and has one of the highest per capita incomes and large population of ed educated intellectuals. The only thing that makes me hesitate at all is its elevation, which made it feel a little too cool in the afternoons. But in the middle of the day, you can walk around wearing only a single layer year round. But after 4 p.m., it gets cool fairly quickly, so carry a light jacket or sweater in the evenings. Consider Cajamarca, Peru, retired cheap report, if you're looking for a more traditional Peruvian experience in a smaller, more quaint colonial era setting. Okay, coming in at number 14, Antigua, Guatemala, retired cheap report. Antigua, Guatemala is the most well-preserved colonial era city in all of Central America. With 500 years of history, art, and architecture, along with an amazing array of foods from around the world to delight your senses, Antigua is one of the best places in the world for an integration of colonial culture, indigenous culture, and international visitors. Antigua is a place where many experienced world travelers call home after they've seen much of the world. Because of Antigua's elevation, it remains relatively cool throughout the year. There are also many hiking trails around the city, including an active volcano that erupts almost every night. You can take a tour there and watch the volcano light up the skies at night. If you're more of a mountain lake lover, check out Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, retired cheap report. This beautiful lake, a mile high in the sky, is surrounded by seven villages of varying character that would provide a home for people of many different kinds of interesting, uh, including a hippie spiritual, natural healing artist village, an expat party animal village, several indigenous cultural v villages, and a large expat community village. Okay, coming in at number 13th, Cuenca, Ecuador. Cuenca is on almost everyone's retired cheap in paradise list, and it's easy to see why. It is a smaller colonial era city in the Andes Mountains of Ecuador at the perfect elevation, so it stays cool even in the warmest summer. 
expats have been retiring here for decades because the city center is a colonial era showpiece with many of the best restored buildings in all of South America. Somehow the cost of living here has remained relatively low and stable, partly because Ecuador uses the American dollar. There are multiple large public markets where you can buy fresh fruits and vegetables from locals and even an expat grocery store where you can get food from home. Okay, coming in at number 12, Nha Trang, Vietnam, Retire Cheap Report. Nha Trang is the most cosmopolitan city in Vietnam if you consider international food choices, clean parks and beaches, neighborhoods that still feel like Vietnam, despite international tourism, and less visible pollution in the air. It is a city on the ocean. It doesn't have the breadth of historical culture you'll see in Hanoi or Hoi, but it makes up for that with modern cultural amenities that cultural explorers expect. You'll read that some people do not like Nha Trang because it has a large touristy industry near the beach, but I wouldn't live in the touristy areas if I moved there. I would live in a beautiful neighborhood that I showcase in my Retire Cheap report. What surprised me the most about Nha Trang was how cheap it was to live there once you get to know what the locals you know, shop and eat for. If you love life in Vietnam but would like to be surrounded by more English-speaking Western expats, try our Da Nang Vietnam Retired Cheap Report or check out our Da Lot Vietnam Retired Cheap Report if you prefer a hill station with cooler year-round weather. Okay, time for number 11. Bangkok, Thailand, Retired Cheap Report is one of the best cities in the world even before you adjust for its low cost of living. The food choices are unmatched with the integration of East and West cuisines. It has one of the most modern and clean transportation systems in the world, so you'll not have to waste your money on a car. The grab taxis are so cheap, you can get your groceries home for just a little more than public transportation. Riding the water taxis from Kosan Road to King's Taxon Bridge while stopping at all of the temples, the flower market, and the King's Palace is probably the most interesting cultural experience you'll find anywhere in the world. Thus, even before we talk about the crazy nightlife and shopping in Bangkok, it's one of the most interesting places in the world. Plus, you are just a $50 flight to the best island beaches in Southeast Asia. But if you prefer a smaller mountain town that hosts the digital nomad capital of the world, check out our Chiang Mai, Thailand, Retire Cheap Report. Okay, time for number 10. Baguio City, Philippines, Retire Cheap Report. One of the first things you'll notice about Baguio is that it's never too hot or too cold there. It has a mile high in the sky, so it has moderate highland temperatures. The thing that you'll notice is the green and beautiful central area of Baguio. The sidewalks are well maintained and there are plants growing everywhere which are maintained by Baguio City year round. There's a very large central park full of manicured grass and picnic tables with a lake full of paddle boats you can enjoy with your family and friends. It also is one of the most creative cities in the Philippines with college students dressing up in Jap Japanese anime costumes, walking around and drawing chalk characters on Session Road when it is closed to automobiles on Sundays. Because of this is a college town, there seems to be a never-ending set of things to do and events to attend that often include cheap street food, fun arts, and music. Plus, Baguio is one of the most walkable cities, so if you decide to live close in, you would not even need a car. Okay, coming in at number nine, Puerto Morelos, Mexico, Retired Cheap Report. I've always been a fan of Quintana Roo, Mexico, uh, where it is located, but I'd never actually stayed in Puerto Morelos. Normally, I like larger cities with more things to do, with more cultural choices, so I'm not completely sure why I have such a great gut feeling about Puerto Morelos. I think it has to do with two major concepts that touch me deeply. There's a Colonia area just a few kilometers from the white sand tour speeches that is at the edge of thousands of acres of untouched jungle. So a few times per week, monkeys will be playing in the trees outside our windows. On other days, gorgeous birds would land in the trees around our apartment and sing to us. Plus, Riviera Maya is normally a very loud and crazy place. 
but the colonial area of Puerto Morelos was one of the quietest places I've ever stayed in Mexico. Plus, there are a bunch of delicious and cheap family-owned restaurants on the colonial side instead of the overpriced restaurants in the white sand tourist beach areas. But whenever the white sand beaches called us, we're just a 30 peso or $1.50 taxi ride to the most beautiful beach in the world. This combination of nature, beautiful animals in their serene environment, and crazy gorgeous white sand beach heaven really made me love this place. Okay, coming in number eight, Penang, Malaysia, retired cheap report. Hours will feel like minutes as you stroll around Georgetown colonial era and spot colorful street art around every corner. The number one attraction here is finding the best mama's restaurant in town for $2 US meals. Once you taste the amazing local foods, you'll have a hard time convincing yourself to pay eight to 10 US in the tourist restaurants. As a former British colony, people are still required to speak English in many schools here. There are art galleries listed, things to do, music, nightlife, and arts and entertainment. The Canteen and China House restaurant is still listed as the premier live music forum. Make sure to take our Beach and Buddha tour, the street art tour, our Old Town walking tour, our nightlife tour, and try out our favorite restaurants. Most of our Retired Cheap and Paradise reports include these types of tours and restaurant rankings. Okay. Porto, Portugal, Retired Cheap Report. Coming in at number seven, Porto, Portugal has a beautiful landscape and a romantic yet safe feeling to it. It's like living in a storybook. The central area of Porto is highly walkable. Porto has gorgeous ancient architecture. It's like walking through a living museum with single lane cobblestone pre-vehicle streets. There are beaches, wine tours, symphony, Many food choices, hiking, biking, great day trips, weekend getaways, sports stadiums, sailing, water sports, cruising, parks, nature. Porto has an old world charm that you usually only find in more expensive cities. Plus, plus it has the Lidl grocery store chain, which sells amazing gourmet foods for really cheap prices. Porto is the best cheap base to explore Western Europe. It's a little cooler than I normally like, but it reminds me of San Francisco, California weather near where I grew up, and I love that place too. You may need to take the Porto Metro Underground a little outside the city center to find cheaper rents to meet the $1,500 total living costs. But isn't it nice that you won't need a car? Okay, consider reviewing our Coimbra, Portugal, Retired Cheap Report if you'd prefer to live in a smaller, less congested college town in Portugal, or Sintra, Portugal, Retired Cheap Report, if you'd like to live in a small Portuguese mountain town enchanted with famous castles. Okay, coming in at number six, Oaxaca, Mexico, Retired Cheap Report. Oaxaca State has a large indigenous population with 50% of the people from different indigenous cultures speaking different local languages. Oaxaca City hosts the largest, most famous indigenous festival in the world, held annually to celebrate their native culture of music, costume, dances, and food. Some of the most well-preserved ancient ruins in Mexico are nearby in Monte Alban and Mitla. Oaxaca is, is at a perfect elevation, so it's not too warm in the summer and, and not too cold in the winter. The indigenous people suffered great hardship under the Aztecs and then again when the Spanish showed up in 1521. The colonial era center of the city is one of the most beautiful and well-preserved of anywhere in the world. The Central Park, or Zocalo, is a joy to explore night and day with music, dance, and beautiful foods in restaurants and food carts. Okay, now we're moving in the top five places in the entire world to retire early for cheap in 2023. Okay, coming in at number five, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Retired Cheap Report. Kuala Lumpur is a large modern city with all the conveniences that implies. It has several of the most beautiful and modern malls, hotels, resorts, and public transportation in Southeast Asia. All the famous movies from all over the world play in multiple languages, and all of the most famous expensive brands in the world have stores in the malls. If Singapore and Bangkok had a baby, 
They would call it Kuala Lumpur. It's not as gritty as Bangkok, nor as boring, expensive, or antiseptic as Singapore. It's not for everyone, but if you like a large, organized, clean, and safe city, you're going to love Kuala Lumpur. Okay, coming in at number four, Queretaro, Mexico, Retire Chief Report. Queretaro is now one of my favorite places in Mexico for a retirement destination. It's moved up this year because it has a more modern economy that withstood the economic hardships over the last few years uh, than any of my other favorite places in Mexico. For one or two week vacation, I would still pick a beach in Mexico. But for everyday life in cooler colonial era Mexico at higher elevations, I would pick Carretero. Carretero has one of the highest per capita incomes in Mexico because it's the Silicon Valley of Mexico. There are many great restaurants in town because of the higher incomes, but also many foreigners that live in Carretero uh, because of the large international business community helped support the diversity of different kinds of restaurants. But I would live in the colonial air center of Carretero, where there is a large selection of food, both expensive and foreign and inexpensive local family restaurants. There's also a large selection of nightlife venues with live music, many coffee shops, museums, arts and crafts. Okay, it's time for number three in the world, moving up to third, Dumaguete, Philippines, Retire Cheap Report. Dumaguete is a quaint little city that you may not expect to find in the top five places to retire early for cheap. But the city has everything you need in terms of public markets, restaurants, grocery stores with many inter international foods. Plus, there's a central city area where you could live and walk everywhere. But I would prefer to live up the hill about eight kilometers in a smaller city called Valencia. There are hot springs, waterfalls, public markets, but you'll need a scooter to get around or a small car. The real fun starts when you hop on a ferry to one of the beautiful islands nearby like Apo or Sikihor. If you're a diver or love snorkeling, consider living in the su suburb uh, of Dumaguete called Dowin. Dowin has an enviable marine sanctuary that you can swim to every day from the beach from the public beach. Dumaguete City Center has just enough people and businesses to make everyday life a little easier and more diverse without feeling overwhelmed. Plus, it has a university town which has been influenced the dynamic nature of the city and has one of the best hospitals and medical schools in the islands, especially for a smaller town. Okay, time for number two in the world. Koh Samui, Thailand, Retired Cheap Report. You may have had the impression that the island of Koh Samui was only a playground for the rich and famous looking for expensive white sand island beach vacations. But on our latest visit to Koh Samui, just a few months ago, we found perfectly respectable places to stay in safe neighborhoods where locals live for relatively cheap rates. We also found local markets and local family-owned restaurants with absolutely delicious food that would not break the bank. So we, we now understand that we could live an amazing everyday life in Koh Samui. We would live, eat, and shop more like the locals, so now we could just pack a lunch and jump on a scooter to visit the most beautiful white sand beaches in the world whenever the mood strikes without paying tourist prices. So after 17 years of coming to Thailand, I now know that I could stay on a budget in one of the most beautiful and exclusive places in the world. If you are looking for a more hippie island vibe in Thailand, just 30 minutes away by ferry, check out our Ko Fangan Thailand Retire Cheap Report. Okay, now for my favorite place to retire cheap in the world, Ubud, Bali, Indonesia, Retire Cheap Report. Ubud is a beautiful traditional village in the mountains of Bali where many people love to stay and eat in many of the healthy international food restaurants and local restaurants. This is one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world. It was, of course, beautiful. The landscape, the beaches, the people. The joys of this relatively small island are spread out everywhere. So you'll need to have a vehicle or rent a scooter like most people. 
Make sure to ride your scooter to Utwala on the southern tip of Bali to see the fishermen boats, the local fish market, and children dressed up in their school uniforms. Also take the ferry over Lebongan for the weekend and visit the famous cliff beaches and umbrella graveyards. Finally, bring your camera with you when you visit the terraced rice fields when they are in full green before harvest. You may also be wondering why some countries that you love did not appear on this list. For example, I love countries like Argentina, Brazil, Estonia, Croatia, Lithuania, Latvia, Nepal, and Turkey. Although I have visited and loved these countries and many more, I only use data I've collected in the last few years when I write these reports. But do look for reports on these as we continue our exploration. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll see when I post my best white sand beaches in the world, my best towns for cultural explorers, and my best small towns in the world. Okay, thanks for considering my best places in the entire world to retire early for cheap in 2023. Make sure to grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 16 Years. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? 